Well, this is a corn crib that uh, that we built here on the farm last year. It took about three months construction, about four people working on it. Um, it evolved out of the necessity to store corn that we were growing on our other property. Uh, right now in here we've got five kinds of corn stored. We built it um, basically out of two by fours and it's constructed so that you throw your corn in the top. It piles up in here and when you're ready you can open your doors here and the corn slides out the bottom. Now why people would build corn cribs is an old style of, uh, of, corn, of corn cultivation. So when you finish growing your corn and we're talking flower corn here, you need to do something with it to dry it. Now, uh, if you hang it in the air, birds will go, birds will start picking at it. If you put it on the ground, then it'll be prone to rodent strike. So you have to cage up your corn. Now the other problem is if you uh, put the corn into a container that doesn't have airflow, your corn will then start to mold and rot. You're not gonna have anything. So that's why it's really important when you build a corn crib, like this one, that you build it against the, the direction of the prevailing wind so that you can maximize your airflow going through. And basically you can store corn in here for a very long period of time. So it's been in here all winter, it's bone dry, and the natural uh, circulation of air keeps the corn dry, um, mildew and mold free and through appropriate construction, it's bird and rodent free.